I'm here with Ocelot, probably the most gamer in this tournament, I'd say. It took me like an hour waiting for you. <laughs> Tell everybody what happened. Yeah, well, people just wanted uh, photos and autographs and, you know, a lot of stuff. It's like every event, basically. It's like, I don't know. And people in Poland likes me a lot. So, you know, that's it. Tell me, what do you think was the reason for your popularity? How did you manage to get so much crowd supporting you? I think is that I'm one of the few guys that is completely transparent and I never say any bullshit I don't think about, you know? If I think something is like this, I will say it. And that's my lifestyle, you know? And people like as well the fact that uh, when, uh, when it comes down to <clears throat> goals in your life, um, you're, I always say that I'm willing to die for it, you know, and I'm willing to like invest all my time, motivation and energy for it. And people love it so much. And I demonstrated like every day, I, I work so hard on my goals. And no matter, <coughs> no matter what happens, and no matter what obstacle is in front of me, I'm gonna punch it in the face and go ahead. And <coughs> sometimes it costs more time, sometimes it costs more energy, sometimes it costs haters, but at the end of the day, People understand that um, um, <coughs> that is um, a really positive lifestyle, and you don't hurt anybody like that. You know, like people just love that. I guess. Ocelot lost his voice because he was talking with all his fans all the time, and was, of course shouting during the match. Yeah, that's another uh, another topic. Uh, during the pick and bans, I've seen Kasadin for a second. Why didn't you decide to play Kasadin? I didn't decide to play Kasadin because I was thinking like. I even told my teammates, like, they are going to go in, they got to go in set up, you know, they rely on going in and killing. If we have brain and they go in and we just back and we counter engage with wall or stuff like that, or we make them, in, or we make them wall, I mean, uh, flash over the wall and stuff like that, we are going to have them on our hand. And the only thing we had to do, I mean, they, they had better setup, but we played way more, way better and we, we had so much patience, you know. What would have happened if I got, if I got Kazarin? I rely way more, you know, on how good they do than instead of how good we do, you know. Kazan is too reliable on how the opponent does. But with Anivia, if, if your team plays good enough, I just trust in my team so much. Right now, I said, just fucking go Anivia. Sorry, I swear so much, man. <laughs> uh, just go Anivia and, and outplay them, that's it. Uh, there, there was a moment during the match with Acer PL uh, when Acer had an upper hand. I'd say there was a short moment. <laughs> uh, do you th did you feel like a little fear inside of you that this is the moment in which you can lose the game? Did you f have the moment during the match in which you were unsure of the victory? Nah, those moments are are so beautiful, man. When when something is in the balance. And it might go here or here, and you might go home with nothing, or you might go home with something. Those are the beautiful moments. For me, it's like, is, is the happiness. Those moments are the happiness. Are the reason I play, I compete in esports. Those moments, I need those moments. It's like I felt like in home. Who do you think will win the tournament? Well, of course, you'll say probably SK, but do you think that there are other competitors? Who is the strongest comp competitor right now? I think um, team play wise. Uh, CLG, EU and M5 are the strongest. Individual skill-wise is mixed out. You had to do like a dream team or something. But team play-wise, M5 and, and CLG are, are the strongest in my opinion. I think they are a better team than us. But when it comes down to offline events, when you sweat, when you, had like, you got like 40 degrees and stuff like that, and you, you, know, you, you run out of voice, you got the fans, you got, you know, it's a different environment. The team play there sometimes gets pretty screwed, and you know, uh, here is totally different. So let's see what happens. That's basically the difference between the online events and offline events, of course. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys later.